Darn it. I just threw my pen over to the side. Trying to adjust the table. Pop. I ain't about to get it right now, though. But that's why, boo, beautiful people. That's why, boo. Happy Monday. Let's see. You might have found one. It's in the refrigerator if you're looking for it. I am back with a regularly scheduled program. You can see my background has returned to normal, meaning, meaning I am back home. All right, y'all. So today it is Monday, February the 10th, 2020, day 68 of year two. I'll read it through the book of instruction and the prophets. All right, y'all. Today we're reading Joshua 16, 17, and 18. So let's get started straight away here. Oh, 16 is real short. Yeah, we'll be done about 10 minutes, y'all. So let's go ahead and get it popping. All right, Joshua chapter 16. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho unto the water of Jericho on the east side, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho through Mount Bethel. Hey, guys, guys, already. And goeth out from Bethel to Luz and passeth along the borders of Arche to Ataroth. And goeth down westward to the coast of Japhleti, Jaff, unto the coast of Beth Horon, the nether, and Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance, and the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Ataroth Adder, unto Beth Horon, the upper. And the border went out toward the Sea of Mechmethah on the north side, and the border went about eastward to unto Tana Shiloh, and passed by it on the east of Jonah. And it went down from Jonah to Ataroth and to Narath, and came to Jericho and went out to Jordan. The border went from Tapua westward unto the river of Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites and dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites until this day and serve under tribute, meaning their... Um, they're their employees or slaves or their helpers, handmaids, handmaidens, servants, whatever. Is that that's what they're doing? Joshua chapter seventeen. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph. To wit, for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. Therefore, he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abizur, and for the children of Helek, and for the children of Azrael, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophi had the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Nikir, the son of Manasseh had no sons but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milcah, and Terza. Hey, guys, take it down. And they came near before Eleazar the priest and before Joshua the son of Nun and before the princes, saying, Yahuwah commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of Yahuwah, he gave them an inheritance among their fathers. I'm sorry, I got an eyelash in my hand. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Verse 5. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side of Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Mechathah, that lieth before Shechem, and the border went along the right hand unto the inhabitants of Etapua, 
Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim, and the coast descended unto the river Kana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was the north side of the river, and the goings out of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar and Asher Beth Shean and her towns in Ibliam and her towns and inhabitants of Dor and her towns and inhabitants of Endor and her towns and inhabitants of Takana and her towns and inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass when the children of Israel were waxing strong that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as Jehovah has blessed me hitherto? And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants of Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are Beth, Beth Shean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood. For it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine. For thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Last chapter for today, Joshua chapter 18. And the whole congregation of children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there. And the land was subdued before them, and there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, how long are ye still like to go possess the land which Yahuwah, the God of your fathers, have given you? Give out from among you three men, each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land and describe it according to the inheritance of them. And they shall come again to me, and they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north. Ye shall therefore describe, describe the land in seven parts. And bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before you who are God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of you who is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and the half tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses, the servant of you who gave them. And the men arose and went away, and Joshua charged them that they went to describe the land, saying, Go. And walk through the land and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before you who are in Shiloh. And the man went and passed through the land and described it, described it by cities in seven parts in a book, and came again to Joshua, to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before Yahuwah. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families, and the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border was on the north side. I'm sorry. And their border on the north side was from Jordan. And the border, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side and went up through the mountains westward. And the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of Bethlehem. And the border went over from thenceward to Luz and to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward. And the border descended to Atarothadar, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether Bethoron. And the border was drawn thence and compassed the corner of the sea southward from the hill that lieth before Bethoron southward, and the goings out thereof at Kerjathabal, which is Kerjathajerim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of Kerjathajerim, Jajaram, and the border went out on the west and went out to the well of the waters of Neftoah. And the border came down to the end of the mountain 
and lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of Jebusi on the south, and descended to Enrogel, and was drawn from the north, and went forward to Enshemesh, and went forward toward Gililah, which is over against the going up of Adumim, and descended to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Arabah, northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along the side of Beth Hagla, northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin by the coast thereof round about according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho and Beth Hagala and the valley of Kezis and Beth Harba and Zimarim and Bethel and Aviv and Parah and Oprah and Chepharahara Mone and Ophni and Gaba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon and Rama and Beeroth and Mizpah and Chifira and Moza and Rechem and Erpil and Tarla and Zela, Eleph and Jebusi, which is Jerusalem, Gibeath and Kerjath, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their families. And that, my beautiful people, is our reading for today. It was Joshua 16, 17, and 18. It is Monday, February the 10th, 2020, day 68. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get out of here. If you didn't attend for the entire reading, you can go back and reread it. Or if you want to hear me talk, go back and rewind until the beginning. Well, once the post, just hit play. All right, y'all. May you who will bless us and keep us. May you who will make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. You who will lift up his countenance upon us and may he give us his peace, his shalom, or his salama. Everything that concerns us concerns him, our wholeness and our well-being, spirit, soul, and body he cares about. So with that being said, y'all, I love you, and I will see you in the morning. Peace.